Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? I'm Javier, Javier Retana, coach for um, Central Point soccer uh, team. And we're right here today, very happy of what happened on, on the last tourna on tournament and season, because who are right here with me and the rest of the boys, we won the tournament for the season and we won champions. We were the champions of the state. So, so glad for them, so glad for the school, for everyone who's gonna watch this video. I'm so proud of these boys that they did it so good. You can see the trophies right here. So we did a great job as a team, as a school, representing a huge school right here from the area. So we are so proud of what we did. Um, who are right here, one of the top um, players on the team, very good player, one of the news player, and such a, such a good job that he did. So my friend right here, Kuba, will tell you a little bit about him, and then I will keep going with the rest about the season. Well, um... My name is Olenis, uh, in the team everybody call me Cuba. Um, That's it, Cuba. <laughs> I got the number nine. He did a great job, he did a great job because he was fairly new and he came in the season, first season with us, we did two seasons together and he adjusted himself really quick to the, to, the, to, the, to the other players. So now trying to do a recap about the season, uh, he scored, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten goals through the season. But we had a tough season at the end. Why? Because we had a super tough semifinal against Southland and we beat him 3 1 at their house. And that gave us the, the opportunity to go to the final. So we went to the final. We won 5 0. These guys did a, such a great job from the, from the back with Pablo, Isaac, uh, John. I say the names because they're not here, so I'm just trying to keep them here in, the, in this record. And then Adrian, JP, Aviles, um, Will Scuba, and John, and Alexis. I think I'm missing somebody, Alexis. Yeah, these guys, they did a great job as a unit, as a team. We went through tough times at the beginning of the season. It was not easy at the beginning, but when we stayed together, we were strong, not only physically, mentally, and then we went through a lot of little situations, but we got through. And you can see the results right here. So it's, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of these boys, what they did, how they, they represent that logo, this logo right here. The way they did it for the school, they left everything, everything on the field. And then when we went to the tournament, the state tournament, um, again, we beat Southland in the final and it was a great final. I mean. It was such a such a good final. Two good teams playing soccer. It was great. It was great to see it, and the way they accomplished everything. It was it was very 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 good. So now everything it sounds it sounds weird what I'm going to say, but now it's in the books. Now we gotta look forward for next year for next season. So tryouts gonna be some point next season, and I am, I'm trying to invite everybody, encourage everybody to come and and try out with me. And who knows, now we gotta now we gotta defend this. It's not gonna be easy, but we gotta defend it. And we gotta leave everything that we can on the field because now it's not it's, it's not easy to get it, but it's even harder or tougher to to represent it to to defend it. So now it's gonna be it's gonna be such a difficult task because everybody wants to beat Central Point. And of course we're not gonna allow them to try to come and beat us. We we're gonna try to defend this trophy now. So yeah, it was a great season. It was a, it was a moment that I wanna bring up. We went to Gainesville on Tuesday in one week, can remember the week, and we got all the way there after school. These guys hungry, Thursday, we got there. Well, long, two home. hours, right? Yeah. Long traffic. And then rain came, turned the storm, no game. We, we stayed there like 45 minutes waiting for the storm to, you know, to pass by, we came back empty handy. And then two days after, we went back again to try to advance to the semifinal, right? And then we beat, I think, the, the Rock, right? The Rock, yeah, we right. beat them. And at least we did it. But we did two trips to Gainesville in two days just to advance to the semifinal. So that's that's a little example of what they did for the school to try to, to bring this home. And I always believe in the more strong uh, mental that you are, the more physical uh, strong you're gonna be. So these guys is a very good example of what they did for, 
for the school, for themselves, for their families, because their families were over there always with them and support them. And I really have, I, I really have to take my head off for these guys, for their parents. They were, they were always there. There were a lot of families always looking out for their sons and, and all the sacrifices they had to do. Because remember, we always play Tuesdays and, Wednesdays and, and Fridays. It's not easy to get out from your job or maybe ask for permission and then go and support your kids. So, yep, it was a great season. It was a great season. I want to say thank you for the opportunity for Mr. Nelson, Ms. Janita, for all the opportunity they have, that they gave us to be together for two years. Um, now we got to move up. Now we got to keep looking forward for what's coming, new challenges, and we're going to be ready. We're going to be ready because we're going to be losing six seniors. Yeah. Six seniors got to go, so it's not going to be easy, but we can do it, right? You're leaving, right? You got to go? No, no. You're really. not? You're not? You're junior? Yeah. Oh, okay, so he's junior, so he's fine. He's going to stay with me. Families, families, please do me a favor. Bring all the all the boys, bring all the boys to the tryouts. Tryouts going to be for next season. It's going to be open in September, October of this year, but thinking about next season. So I would like to have a lot of tools, a lot of opportunities with the boys. Bring everybody you can to the school and I want to give everybody a fair chance to try to be part of the soccer team. Kuba was one of them and he did a great job. You, you, can, you can tell them about the chemistry that we had in the team. That's why when you got chemistry, you got results like this one. You got to build a chemistry through the season. It's not going to be always easy, but you got to go through the season and you got to go one day at a time. Practices might be three practices by week. So if you guys are ready for that, more than welcome to be with us, right, Cuba? When I came, they were all training, because the first trial came late, and it was very difficult to connect with them. But as the season went on, after the first trip we had, and as I went, I was like, knowing them all, and in the end, when I talked to them, they also were all connected. Todos se unían, tú claro. sabes, como yo te hablaba a ti, te hablaba a ti, te hablaba y, y entre sí. todos, entonces sí. al final de empezar de no hablarnos, terminamos a, como una familia, like, salíamos del van y éramos todos juntos, todos sí, juntos. Sí, como debe de ser, porque vuelvo lo mismo, es una química. Entonces, si tú estás representando una camisa, yo también, pues lo que te pase a ti, yo te voy a proteger y lo que me pase a mí, tú me vas a proteger. Entonces, esa es la invitación, eso es porque todos, todos puedan tratar de ir al tryout. Será, como les repito, septiembre, octubre del 2023. Están todos cordialmente invitados para, para formar de nuevo otro equipo, otra familia, como dijo Cuba. Y, y Dios quiera que puedan traer a todos esos muchachos para darles esa oportunidad. Así que están cordialmente invitados. Así que Cuba estará ahí con nosotros si Dios quiere. Y tendremos tres, cuatro muchachos más del equipo que todavía no se gradúan. Y ahí vamos a esperar por, por nuevos jugadores a que vengan y, y trataremos de defender este trofeo que está aquí porque ahora tenemos una responsabilidad más grande todavía. Así que nada, con, muchísima, con muchísimo gusto la invitación para todos. Coach, tú también hiciste un trabajo tremendo, ¿verdad? Oh. Quería agradecerle porque mm. cuando nosotros estábamos en el equipo ahí en, el, en los partidos contra Southland, que fueron los lo más ter terribles, ya yo sentía que no podía y tú seguías presionando y la presión y estar dentro y los nervios y las cosas uh -huh. y mirarlo y verlo con su cara segura, asegurado, con sus brazos cruzados así. Uh -huh. Yo decía, no, que okay, vamos a ganarle, tenemos que hacerlo por el coach porque su trabajo sí. lo está haciendo muy bien con nosotros y era como la forma de devolverle. No, no, muy bien, trabajo. lo hicieron excelente y tú acabas de decir una palabra muy correcta, mucha presión. It was a lot of pressure uh -huh. in the game and ellos lo hicieron excelente. Fueron dos partidos muy difíciles muy fuerte, de mucha presión física y mental, y lo sacaron adelante. Así que, bueno, muchas gracias, Cuba, por, por darme ese reconocimiento, pero, pero yo siempre soy de los que pienso que en la cancha los que resuelven son ellos. Entonces, el crédito siempre tiene que ser para los jugadores, porque ellos son los que toman las decisiones dentro de la cancha. Así que, de verdad, gracias. Todo bien, muchísimas gracias, pero, pero el crédito siempre es de los jugadores. Yo soy de los que siempre pienso que, que hay que ser así. Hay que ser así. Lo hicieron excelentemente bien. Todos, todos cuando vean este video saben que lo que ustedes hicieron en la cancha no fue nada sencillo. Así que, verdad, yo, yo les doy mucho, mucho respeto, mucho crédito por lo que hicieron. Así que, nada, vamos de nuevo, vamos de nuevo a ver qué pasa si Dios quiere. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm.